I come. Hear the brothers. For the Emperor. A massive rent in the fabric of unreality has been uncovered in the heart of an imperial city. Its power calls many to claim it. Seeking to protect the citizens of the Imperium are the White Scars in their attempt to close the portal. Ivrain and her allies too have arrived and seek to bend its energies to their will in hopes of bringing Inead even farther back into our reality. Who will win? Who will fall? Welcome to round one of 40K in 30 Minutes Championships. We want to thank everybody who voted for each of the players in our current championship lineup. To close out our first season, we're going to have the four you voted for play off. And in our first round, we have Steve leading his White Scars versus Rupert and his Yanari. Four men will enter, one will become the champion. I am Steve from Play On Tabletop, and I am playing White Scars. The new con model is so awesome, and uh, I was like, well, I have to build a White Scars army. I feel White Scars are a very up there and in your face army, so I decided to put in some infiltrators uh, to really put the pressure on, and I backed that up with a Phobos Librarian and an Invictus Warsuit, so it is a real in there kind of army. Steve's got really two keys in his army here, and I think that's Corsero Khan and the Repulsor Executioner. That Executioner can lay down some withering firepower, plus it can transport a unit, and Khan is an absolute beat stick in combat. He needs to get him in and rip through those Toughness 3 Eldar characters as soon as possible. Assuming I win round one, you know, as much as I don't want to play Mike in the finals, Damn it, I want to play Mike in the finals. Those of you who are fans of our show will recall that Steve played Mike, who also made it to our finals in our very first Play On Tabletop game. He beat me, and I would love to bookend the seasons with me just spiking down Mike. My message to my opponents, beware White Scars are coming for you, like turn one. My name is Rupert, and I'm playing Inari. I play Yunari because I'm actually a huge fan of the Eldar Fluff, and so the idea that a god of death is starting to be formed is just stupendous. I like my lists to always have an authentic feel, at least close to how I think they should feel on the tabletop. Yunari has uh, strong characters, uh, characters juiced up by the god of death, so I have some of those. And then I brought, I brought the A-Team. I brought some Shining Spears, I brought some Fire Dragons, and I brought some Howling Banshees. Bet you haven't seen Howling Banshees for a long time. Those of you who remember, we brought out Yanari versus Castellan when both got nerfed, and Rupert proved that he is the master of the movement phase. I think what he's gonna be keyed on the most is the effectiveness of Yvrain and how he can get his psychers into combat, and I gotta say, those Banshees are sneaky. Who is the biggest threat, and what do I think of the competition? All of them are solid guys. Uh, I have played all of them before. Steven is the only person that's ever beaten me. Steven's playing White Scars, so I really have no idea how to beat him, but I'm confident that I will. <laughs> As you can see from the overhead, we have created the edge of an Imperial city. The White Scars have chosen to defend, as is their right as the defenders of humanity, and the Yanari, the upstart Eldar, are attacking from the forest. This table is actually brought to you by Tabletop Gamer. They've graciously donated all of the MDF terrain you see here, and we prepared it for this battle. Not only have they donated this for the semifinal matchups, but they've also given us some to give away. Check out our Patreon and Facebook and Instagram for details on that, and while you're at it, check out tabletopgamer.com. Our mission today is Beachhead out of Chapter Approved 2018. Starting on turn two, objectives are worth points to he who controls it. The center is worth two, and your home objective is one point to you, but three points to your opponent. First Strike, Line Breaker, and Slay the Warlord are also in play. Players will be deploying in a Hammer and Anvil setup today, with the White Scars deploying, of course, in the city to defend, and the Yanari deploying in the outskirts. There's not a lot of places to hide outside of the city, so we'll see how Rupert fares and how quickly he decides he wants to get in. He likely wants to try and go first so he can get his stuff into cover quickly. It's the championship. It's the Steve. championship. It's the championship, Ru Rupert. Do you feel like a champion yet? I feel. I don't like feel like a champion yet. I will be. I think 
If I win, I should get to name your coming up baby. Oh. <laughs> It could be I fun. Know. Calgar. We'll name him Calgar. I think that is, those are ex excellent stakes. And let's be fair, whoever wins this game is gonna win anyway. Yeah, that's true. We are the two of the, no, I can't even say that. They're both good players. Like, I, I, took, a, I took a beating in the, uh, I took a beating in the, in the like, smack talking. So now I've gotta, I gotta dish it out. Yeah, everyone's like, I just gotta beat it. I gotta show up to beat Steve. So I'm bringing the heat today. Wow. I have to defend. If my being okay at this game. Well, I'll do the easy one first. The Rangers will be in space. Look at you hiding at the back of the table. I could have been more aggressive with my deployment. The risk is his captain on a bike can move so far, he could get into the backfield and, and just smash all my characters and uh, my good units. So I was forced to stay um, outside of that maximum threat range. Cluster of Psychers, Farsia Spirits here in Evrain. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put my Dark Reapers so that they'll be um, obscured the maximum amount. Very interesting deployment from Rupert here. He's deployed very, very deep in that bottom corner. Everybody except for a squad of Dire Avengers. I think he's baiting Steve. Um, I think he's gonna get, try to get Steve to come forward and to come to get him and then get in range of his psychic shenanigans. He is definitely doing his best here to hide every single model he can from Steve's guns. I'll tell you right here and now, though, I wish I brought a Thunderfire Cannon. Yeah, well, I think that is a very savvy thing to realize at this point. It would have just been... Because then it would have put you on a clock. terrifying. I start with uh, eight, and then I spend two on Inari, Warlord Trait, and uh, Relic. So I'm down to six. I start with eight. I spend one to Tempered by Wisdom, my Biker Captain, so that he gets two Warlord Traits. I will deep striking the fire dragons for one CP. First things first, I will put uh, the nine intercessors and Khan inside the repulsor, and then I will spend one CP to outflank the repulsor using encirclement. So we can come on within six inches of any board edge starting at turn two. The outflanking repulsor was not something I realized could be done. <laughs> that was a great move by Steve. Put a lot of pressure on my, on my backfield. Yeah, put some infiltrators up here. Phobos Librarian right in there. I'm gonna throw a squad of infiltrators uh, back here. The biker captain is gonna go right there. So his relic is uh, the Wrath of the Heavens bike, and uh, effectively the bike flies without the fly keyword. Right. Yeah, Lance Peter's back there. So all of the reavers are gonna go right here inside this crater. For some whatever reason, it's open topped. I don't know why. He's a spaceman, I guess. We don't have to cover more power armor with power armor. I am gonna outflank it. Encirclement. So it is going to outflank as well. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm ready to go. So I can uh, choose to go first or second. If I go first, I can get some shots at your reavers, which that's nothing to be sniffed at. They're pretty mean dudes. If you go first, you would be forced to either move up or abandon the central objective. Um, but you would get the drop on me. I. I think I'm going to go second. You think you're going to go second? Yeah. Take it away. Have yourself a great game, man. Both players are gonna be starting the game here with five command points. Uh, this is really gonna be anybody's game at this point, so let's see what happens. In my head, I thought, I'll do as much damage as I can, I'll cripple him as much as, as, much as physically possible so that he can't win the mission anymore. Uh, these guys, the uh, infiltrators, the forward infiltrators are gonna advance. Uh, one inches. Primaris uh, Phobos Librarian and advance him. It's not as great. I'm gonna move the bike right up here. Maybe do a little bit of hiding. I think these guys are happy holding this back objective for me. Uh, we'll start in the psychic phase. Absolutely. Uh, and he will time corridor them. And he's gonna roll a double one, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, four. Five. 
Uh, so I will spend one command point. Three up. So he does. Good job. Uh, so they get to uh, move and advance. I mean, it kind of leaves my librarian out in the open, yeah. but you can't let them live either. Shooting, mm -hmm. uh, they advance, and they don't have assault weapons. And then uh, assault phase. These infiltrators de uh, declare an assault on your dire vendors. Uh, hits one time, and fell swooned. Wonder, let's do this. Uh, charge distances. No sweat. Seven. He could have just cast it up and held the midfield for the whole game and done no damage to my army and won. But he didn't see that. He saw the risk of me getting first strike, and so he went for my bait unit. So they're all gonna get their attacks though. Pretty sure you'll kill them anyway, so. That's the hope. So on threes. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Pardon me? No minus. No, no minus. So I save a lot. Yeah. Wow. Um, Exarch, three left, threes, not much to worry about, and uh, oh, two wins. You kill a dude. No leadership. Um, I think that's your turn. You know what, actually? Um, Make him punch again? I think I should. First round of attacks didn't kill the Dire Avengers. I have to choose between honoring the chapter or showing no honor to the chapter. It's three CP and I think because of the mission, I have to, I have to kill them because that one point once it's gone is not available anymore. No, I'm gonna try. Okay. I go to one, that's, that's, this is a, uh, I will see, try and bring him down. I, probably the wrong decision right here. Yeah, four, up. four ups for days. Uh, so I lose two. And uh, at that point, I'll just pull the X off. Okay. Because uh, then I don't have to take him around. That was a huge gamble, and Steve has lost it. No first strike for him. Steve's got to be disappointed. You know, those Dire Avengers should have fallen. He's definitely, definitely feeling a bit of pressure here, I think. Maybe giving up that point and staying in position would have been a better choice. The first thing I'm going to do is advance my Storm Guardians. So they go 12, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cause maximum pain over here. The other thing I can do is move 22 inches and charge you, but it cost me two CP. I don't think it's worth it, because there's a lot of Reavers in there. A lot of Reavers in there, there's, there's a, a lot of Reavers, yeah. a lot of Reavers in there. A lot of Reavers. You know, it's so key when you're dealing with a real finesse army like Yanari are right now, you, you can't just smash the enemy. You need to set them up first, much like boxing. You know, work the body early and it pays off in later rounds. It's the same principle. Too many players rush in and try to win the game on turn one. You certainly can't win the game there, but you can for sure lose it. They cannot fall back and shoot, but they can run around and just be really annoying. Oh, it's such an interesting game. I love, I just absolutely love interesting games. I just want to keep my Banshees alive as long as possible. They're just so much fun. But I don't think I can. Okay, so at least if I go here, you would have to charge up and over this wall, uh, which will probably make it really difficult. Great, Steve. Good tactical play. I love, I hate, I hate just giving stuff away. And you've put me in a really good position to be forced to come out. Come get some. Yeah, exactly. So, psychic phase, um, first thing I'll do is doom that squad. Uh, goes off. Then I'll smite with Ivrain, uh, which goes off. I'm within 24. Oh, you might be. No, probably not. Not quite. Yeah, just out. Um, for one, so it just kills that front dude. Well, yeah, he just died he anyway. anyways. Yeah. I'll start shooting, so uh, he'll shoot first, and um, this will be fours and sixes, one rending. So you have your minus three? Yeah. Okay, a six up. Nope. Uh, fusion goes through a guy, and yeah, you kill a dude. another dude. And then I'll do the scatter lasers. Threes, and then we are re the rolling. Oh, no. Why do you re-roll? Doom. Oh, you're doomed. Yeah. So that's um, seven. Three ups. And, yep. 
I fail one. So yeah. one guy takes one wound. Great job. Uh, which means that I'll have to put the Reapers into him. Oof. 11 shots. Well, isn't that silly? <laughs> oh, five ups? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you kill a dude. Yeah, five, ups? five ups. Watch him do it. I'd, I'd love it. Oh, he doesn't, almost. And first strike is gonna give him a point and an all-important one at that because Steve failed to score it. He'll shoot uh, Phobos, Librarian. Yeah. Uh, star cannons, uh, three hit. Does he have an invulnerable save? He does not. Okay, so then I'll have to just do the post laser. Um, oh, the one hit. Um, oh, dude. I'll CP that. Yeah. Okay, so two. Both. Huh. And he's post he just pastes them. Does. Yeah, so I lose a CP, but on a six. Uh, no. So I lose the librarian. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, I can't charge you, I'm out of range. It's put me in an interesting spot. Um, I'd love to shoot more. I could fire and fade, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. So okay. go for it, man. And a turn here, and Rupert is up one to nothing. He's in really good shape. Steve is definitely pressed forward. He does have a lot to come in still, but I think he really likes the position that he's in. So now we go to turn two, and this is where we start scoring at the top of the turn. So whatever objective you're in holding is the objectives you're gonna score again. One for your own, two for the middle, and three for holding your opponents. So at the top of the turn here, Steve scores one for holding his own objective, and that ties the game up temporarily at one to one. I gotta like do something. My biker captain right there. He can do a lot of damage. Those guys move 16. Nice. But not, not enough to get on that objective. Not enough to get on the objective, no. But I'm right. gonna kill those, fire, uh, those dire vendors. Big words there. for a little speeder. So I, I did, I did uh, move my doctrine forward, so I'm in the uh, uh, tactical doctrine now. Let's get tactical, Steve. I can, but that's okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's really angry. Okay, so the repulsor hovers in. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, it's I, the only I'm, noise I can imagine they I'm make. I'm feeling repulsed. You're feeling repulsed? Good. You should. You know what? I'm gonna keep the um, Invictus War Suit off the table. Yep. And we're gonna see what you do with the, what you have in Deep Strike. So which is some... Uh, Fire Dragons. Fire Dragons. So let's yes. see what, where those go. Okay. Because the Invictus Warsuit doesn't like those. And then we'll uh, go to shooting. This guy hugs a crack grenade up here. Oh, okay. Four up. Hits. So on fours. Uh, so one AP minus one. Four up. AP minus one. Yeah, no, he's okay. good. Oculus Bolt Rifles. Uh, so on fours. Uh, sixes automatically hit and automatically wound. Mm -hmm. uh, so four wounds. AP minus, AP minus one. Uh, still just drop one. Oh. Land speeder shoots uh, the Dire Avengers. Away. Save fours, here we go. Ooh. Two, three hit, nice. Delicious. Uh, so one AP minus one hit. And he oh, did. Get out of here. So then uh, we'll go to the Repulsor. Uh, I will send all three uh, Storm Bolters into the Storm Guardians. The Frag Storm Grenade Launchers into the Guardians. Crack storm grenade launchers into your bikes. Heavy onslaught into the dark reapers. Twelve shots. On, Twelve shots. On the Three, ones. fours, yeah. Uh, and then the onslaught gatling cannon into here. Okay. Man, oh man, repulsors are heinous. Just so many shots. Dark reapers. Uh, drops two Ooh. of them. Damage? Uh, one. Um, I will CP one of these. Oh. Do I get it back? Nope. Um, so I drop two wounds. You know, I don't think I need the Exarch as much as I need the, the cracks, so I'll just pull them. Uh, Reavers will shoot all their bolt carbines into the um, Banshees. Yeah, I'm really tempted to do lightning fast because I can keep the Banshees alive. They'll actually do some damage. Mm, I'm gonna save my command points. Uh, so 20 shots on force, right? Yeah. Oof. True. Um, oh, sorry, three, okay. three pop. There's only one damage, right? Yeah. Not what I wanted, but still better than nothing. Take 
That was, I mean, Steve just really rolled bricks of ice. Oh, just savage, yeah. I was expecting to lose uh, more. I will charge then these two units. So I'll charge the Shining Spears and the Bashies. Three uh, lances, so triple six. Nope, nothing. Go for it, Steph. Oh, distance. Pass eight. You'll be able to tag both, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna send all of it into the Shining Spears. What is uh, the most detrimental to my army? And I think that the bikes have to go. Seven. So seven AP minus three hits. Okay. Well, I was hoping that these Shining Spears would do something. And what they did was die. And then would you just move me to base the two front Banshees? Oh, like so? Yep. I see, because then you go on the four up, I can't escape. All right, I see what you've done. Man, if they can't escape, that's bad. <laughs> for, for you. Well, we'll see. It's too bad. Uh, so one wound from the Exarch. Okay, so three plus plus invul. Nope. Nope. Hey, hey. Three damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I would take that trade. Three Banshees and three Shining Spears, but for three wounds on him, that's not bad. I actually feel good about that. Leadership on the Storm Guardian. Fine, it totally, yeah, totally paced it. That was a pretty solid turn for Steve there, I think. I don't know if it's enough to offset his first, but we gotta see how Rupert responds. He hasn't really lost much in his half, but you know, we'll see if, if he can hold those Banshees in combat, and that's gonna be a key, I think. Rupert's bottom two, and he scores one for holding his objective, so that makes our score at present two to one. Let's see what the master of the movement phase has planned here. I put the Shining Spears up in the hopes that they wouldn't die, and then I could springboard and do some damage, but by coming in and getting them with your Warlord, because he's your Warlord, right? Yeah. You are within range of all three smites. Yep, I can see that guy. Uh, four back, we would, uh, you roll on a four up? Bosh. Um, yeah, okay, fall back. For two CP, I can still shoot and charge. Oh, okay. Or I can just run backwards and just be annoying. Yeah, I'm just gonna fall back. I'm not gonna use the stratagem because um, I don't actually need to do damage per se. I need to survive and uh, just be quote-unquote annoying. Yeah, this game is, is, is far from over. Uh, Autox, so I haven't actually moved either of my Autox. So this is, this is the uh, really fun part. What do I do with my bad boys? Yeah, so the reason I'm measuring out all the sticks is I'm gonna drop the uh, rangers. Mm -hmm. um, because then the rangers, they do a couple of things for me. I mean, obviously they just sit and cover and are annoying. Um, they score this home objective for me. Which makes sense. Turns out they've been there all along. They're like, tee hee! We have little Ella dudes been in the forest this whole time. Ugh. So if I go here, it does two things. It prevents you from moving as far as you'd want to move. And it would prevent your war suit from coming in. Let's just go all just out it. on this thing. Um, psychic phase. Doom that guy. Goes off. Oh, he's doomed. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna smite him with the warlock there. For sure. Ah, uh, no, I'll smite him with the brain. Um, goes off. He goes off. For two. two. One remaining. And um, I'll do another smite with the spirit seer, rather. Uh, fails. Fails. Here it is. This is what it's all about. Gaze, gaze of Aeneid. What does that do? Uh, 11. Okay. Um, so that would be um, on a one, it does nothing. So on that, it does. Three wounds. So it's like a smite just with... With a test. Yeah, he eats it. He, he also swallowed up that doom though, which I really like. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. But I'll, I'll take you know that. What? I, I, get, I get a warlord. You get, you do get the warlord, which is really good. We're, and you're, I gotta go get yours, but you you do get the warlord, but he swallowed up all your psychic powers and... The I rest, know, man, I know. So I'm I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna shoot um, into these guys up here. Okay. Uh, shuriken hit. So two at minus three. Uh, take one. The Reapers are gonna shoot um, these guys in the middle. 
five wounds at minus two on the four boss. Five, five wounds at minus two? Yes, sir. All of them? They'll so, two damage, right? Yeah, they're just gone. And you just ice it. Autark puts his webs into the uh, minus speeder. Uh, fusion gun, um, threes. No, oh, nada. Yeah, but if I could kill it. If you only could kill it. It's got six wounds? Yeah. Uh, I'll reroll that. So you got a one CP? Got it. Uh, we've got two left. So six, baby. Ah, oh, uh, four. Go to laser lance, and that's on a four up, so kills it. What? Laser lance does two damage. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, okay see if he explodes. Um, he does. Oh, nice. Uh, you're taking uh, one. Okay, on a five up, uh, so ignore it. Shooting into your tank. Mm -hmm. uh, four dudes. Oh, that was savage. Oh no. Uh, wounds, no my. Um, yeah, I just. No, no save. Uh, six. Nope. Two. And 14 wounds remaining. Exarch. Oh my gosh. Nada. Yeah, he straight up missed. Oh, the repulsor's gonna, gonna do work now. Oh Our dragons have whiffed in the greatest of ways. They've dealt like two damage to the repulsor. Well, I, the look on his face was like, oh. I thought Eldar just pointed at stuff and killed it and it didn't work. Weird. So I'm gonna charge you, I ignore Overwatch. Okay. You ready for this? Mm. That'll do it. Yeah, probably. Um, um, threes? Six, so threes. See what you get there. None of them. Uh, so two damage each. Uh, strike back. Wow, that's a lot of punches with three guys. You charged me. I know. So I get <laughs> I'm just saying, so it's good. Oh, never mind. None of no, them? Nothing. Four ups is what I needed, and I got none. Wow. Okay. You lost six. I, it's rough. Um, I think it's you rough. lost. That's rough. You lost six I, guys? It's rough. Uh, so running away. 11, so it'll be three, they'd be so, gone. But uh, and they shall know no food. Yeah. I'm fine. Nothing. End of two, and we've got a score of three to one in favor of Rupert. He's got first strike and slay the warlord, and an objective point to Steve's single objective point. Steve's definitely in the back foot here, and he needs to make up some points quick. He still has that Invictor war suit to come in on his third turn, so let's see what happens. Steve scores another point at the top of three for holding his objective, but he's still behind Rupert to score three to two. He really needs to hammer down the accelerator here, kill off those psychers, and pin Rupert in place. Let, let's see what he does. I still have a war suit. I still hold my backline objective. I try have to try and knock him off of this thing. It's gonna be really rough. I didn't think I'd lose that many Reavers, uh, but I still have a Repulsor with 12 wounds left, and he's running out of solutions for the Repulsor. So Steve is not disembarking his intercessors. I think this is a huge mistake. It's great to have transports, they protect you for a turn, but if you don't have your guns on the table, they are not going to do work. My thought, I'm gonna move the Repulsor forward, I'm gonna shoot a bunch, and then I'm gonna charge his fire dragon and get even further distance with the repulsor, making an even greater springboard if the repulsor lives around. I, that's, uh, that I think is the, that's the call. So there's nowhere left to hide, right? He can go this way, but then it's away from his home objective, and that's the objective I need to win the game. Eldar can always find somewhere to hide. <laughs> you guys are going to uh, fall back. Well, there it is. Steve's got to move off his home objective to threaten the middle, and that means he's not going to score that next turn. He, he's going for two instead of one. It kind of makes sense, um, but he really needs to put the pressure on Rupert. And Victor Warsuit comes in as well, and hopefully that's going to be able to put some pressure on also. Victory favors the bold. Let's do it. Well, the Invictus Warsuit will shoot all of its weapons into the dragons. Absolutely. Do the, let's do the flame, and they might just get picked so, up. So 2d6 auto hits. Yeah with nine auto hits. So uh, six AP minus ones. One and um, two models. So the Autark dies? Exarch, yeah. Exarch dies, sorry. Uh, heavy Stubbers, uh, one at AP minus one. Let's do Pop Sky. And then uh, the Heavy Bolter, one at AP minus one. Hey! You good? Yeah. D6 shots off the grenade launcher. Threes. Holla. Kill them. I have to get rid of that dragon, though. Uh, the Repulsor will send its LAS cannons it's uh, crack storm grenade launchers. It's last cannons. It's crack storm grenade. I, sh I should be right in twelve for those guys. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, frag storm grenade launchers. The storm bolters will all shoot into the rangers. Last cannons. Oh, I'd be surprised. And crack storm grenade launchers into the bikers. Frag storms and um, storm bolters. 
and storm bolters into the those. Yep. A heavy onslaught Gatling cannon into the Banshees. Yeah. And then I'll send the, the regular onslaught Gatling cannon into the Rangers. Threes versus your fragile elven form. No Eight. minus. Yeah. So one. Wow. <laughs> okay. We're using the same dice. What's happening here? I told you my strategy. What? Like. <laughs> With six AP minus ones. So I fail um, four. And you have a six up, right? And I have a five up. Five. So I take, I take three. So I'm down to three wounds. That's it. That's it. So what will happen is uh, the Reavers will charge up into your guy, yeah. into your uh, Autark. Yeah, like, like so I need a three inch charge. Wow. Okay. No, I have to, I have to CP roll it, re-roll it. Yeah. There you go. So they just go all up and over. So we'll, we'll go in with the Repulsor. So Overwatch on sixes, right? Six. Oh. Uh, distance. Oh, should have been the Invictus. The Invictus Warsuit on the right, that's actually pretty push. Pretty savage no. Move. The Lance Peter charges your Autark. Distance. Uh, three. I actually yeah, think I can might, do that. Like uh, yeah, uh, no. Just out. No, he's out. I'm just out. No, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I needed that. I tried really hard. So he just missed the four inch charge, which prevented him from uh, contesting the center objective, which is kind of a disaster for Steve. Um, for me, no, you know, it's good. I wasn't expecting to hold that objective anyway. Okay, so the Reavers will go first. Four, five, six AP minus one hits. And uh, so those are fours. And uh, yeah, everything. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. What? Are you ready? What do you do? What do you do? There's nothing I can do. He rolled six four ups multiple times, and I'm rolling snake eyes for all my charges. Although that's not why you're losing, but it is bad. <laughs> Uh, oh one. no! Uh, it's like the strength. It's on two. I'm fairly certain. So the Autark is hitting into the Reavers. Uh, he gets two wounds. Two of them are gone, and then yeah. one takes an additional mortal wound. Uh, here, I need a morale. Um, six plus three would be nine, which would kill them. I have two CP left. It's probably worth it just to keep them alive. I have five. Oh, so. they die anyway. Yeah, they die anyway. So that's my last piece. Missing a four inch charge. You know, when the dice turn, they turn hard. Steve's out of command points. He is definitely in, definitely in Rupert's zone, but I, I think he's gonna have a bit of a Hail Mary here in order to try to win this one. So my turn, I score three points. I score three points, two for holding the middle objective. And then uh, I hold this with my characters, so. Yeah, it's six to two. I need to go and get his Warlord and I need to hold that objective later. Psychic phase, uh, I'm gonna start with Doom. Uh, it goes off. If Rain is gonna smite, um, eight for one. Then she's gonna do Gaze, I don't know, eight goes off for one. Wow, that's not the numbers that I need. The Spirit Seer will smite on a 10, um, nice, for two. The Fire Seer will also smite um, on a seven, it goes off. And hopefully I get a three. Yeah, three. Or five, maybe. The Autark is gonna shoot. Um, so he's got uh, four shuriken. Boom, boom, boom. Um, looking for, toughness eight, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, one. Uh, so six up. Yeah. 
Yep. Nice. Uh, Make it. Fusion goes through. Uh, no invulnerable, right? No. Five. Okay, kills it. Does he explode out? No. Nope. Just, okay. I lose, I don't lose anybody though. Nice. Yeah, they'll just shoot the um, the war suit there. So two wounds at minus two. Five ups. Neither. Six Great. damage. Seven wounds remaining. Three scat bikes. Coming in. Bump, 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 bump. Uh, threes. So just three wounds on the Primaris. Uh, great, I, I lose a Primaris. Juicy. Uh, so this Autark will shoot them. What I'm gonna do is, so he's just gonna shoot everything. Um, into the squad. Threes. Oh, oh no, one wound. Sweet. And you want three? Yeah. So uh, six up. Boom! Nada. I think that's all my shooting. So that's um, that's going to be a six. And that's going to be to get to him. It's a nine. Banshees for sure are charging. And I don't get Overwatch because I have Banshee masks, right? That is correct. So you need to roll a six. Which I do. Which you do. Four attacks from the um, fist into your warlord, and then the other ones will go into the banshees. Uh, on twos, my face right now. Oh! One. So four up. Four up. So right, here we go. Four up. No. Oh, uh, did uh, you... What? What? I got my last CP. Uh, yep. Oh, the same. Uh, so, so DP plus one. Two. Uh, so I he... don't kill him. This is really Rupert's game to lose. Three turns complete, a score of six to two, and no command points left. Steve is not gonna score anything in the start of his turn. Man, he's gotta clear Rupert off Rupert's objective. If he can do that, he can score three, he can make this a game, and this is a bit of a last ditch effort here. Uh, Khan advances. Uh, he gets a 12. Ooh. Okay, let's do this thing. Advan over there advances. Mm -hmm. He's going to move right here. Mm -hmm. Khan releases his Robo Falcon, and I choose one uh, non-vehicle model within 12 inches of him, and on a four up, they take a mortal wound. This fire dragon, on a four up, I kill the fire dragon. Oh yeah, he dies! This is it. <laughs> Go, Robo Falcon. My my cat can take your falcon. <laughs> Ooh, my cat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the Reaver will, will shoot his bolt carbine. The one Reaver will shoot his bolt carbine into this Dire Avenger. Here we go, playing kill team. All right. I, this is, that was it. One hit, one wound. Um. Uh, minus? No, he's just uh, a three, sweet, sweet. Three up, three up. Oh, no, he oh, dies! Pops him in the head. You stupid dire Avenger. Land speeder will shoot everything at your jet bikes. These guys? Yeah. Yeah. Fires. Uh, so two AP minus one hits to those. Yeah. Damage? One. So it so kills just, one. Just kills again. Okay, I'm alright with that. This is closer than it than the points indicate. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's what's fun mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we'll do is we'll send the flame cannon into the banshees, and then uh, the heavy bolter and the and the uh, uh, heavy stubbers into the um, reapers, and then the the frag bombs will go into the banshees as well, okay. just to make sure they are dead. All right. These the exarch and the and, a, and the one. Boom! Uh, oh, yeah. Charges, I guess. I think that was all my shooting, yeah. So charges. The Invictor Warsuit charges into your um, Autark. Let's crush this thing. Uh, four inches, I think I am in that one. Finally a four inch charge I could make. So 
So I'll, sh I'll charge all of them. Okay. Nothing? Distance? 11. Mm, he wants it. We'll go right there. Tag them both. Okay, well, he'll just, like he'll just heroically in. But yeah, fair That's enough. That's fair. Yeah, okay. The uh, war suit, uh, four attacks into your uh, biker. Yeah, just miss. It'd be great. Yeah. Uh, so three, uh, AP minus threes. Uh, four ups. Okay. Takes three damage. Um, so it rounds down to two, so I need a five up. He dies. Ouch. Whoo, yeah. El Warlord. If I split it. It's a risk. It's a risk. But I feel if I can, I shouldn't probably. If you, if you get both, you're in an incredible position. Yeah. If I get one, I'm like, all right. I'll send two attacks into the Spirit Seer. Okay. And then four attacks. Four on the brain, two on Spirit Seer. Okay. So on twos, we're rolling once. All of them hit. And then to the Spirit Seer on twos, we're rolling once. Both of them. Uh -huh. uh, so twos to wound the Far Seer. Spirit Seer, sorry, and then re-rolling because of the weapon. So two AP minus four hits. So he survives with one wound? Uh, uh, D3 plus one damage. Oh, see. So he takes three, three damage. So he's at one left. Uh, fours, so three. It's uh, one, so four damage to the far sphere. You got one left. Yeah, you just make a bunch of four ups. Heck yeah. I should have just pummeled everything into one. Uh, if rain, if rain, your toughness four, right? Yeah. Yeah, so fours, um, just one minus three. Uh, so four plus plus. Nope. Two damage. Okay. Um, if, uh, the Fasier, one wound, no da uh, no minus. Uh, so two damage. Okay, so two remaining, just failing everything. And yeah. the Spirit's here, uh, no minus. He's dead. Failed all of <laughs> them. Wow. 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 Just swing. That's crazy. If if he survived and these were both dead, it was definitely a game. Like you could, you could realistically get all those points. Khan failing to kill two psychers uh, with a bunch of rerolls was really rough. He passed a bunch of four up saves, and I didn't pass any four up saves. And uh, if I was if I was able to bring in on the psychers, I think it would have been a game. Um, because then you you lose a lot of the tools. Uh, to deal with things, uh, like, to, to deal with what I have left. Um, it was a really good game. It was close back and forth the entire way. And uh, there were some high spots and low spots for all of us. So it was a good game. Hey. Well, now that he wins, I don't get to go on to the uh, championships, but he does. So whomever wins out of Sterling and Mike gets to show down against this. Good luck to them. Check his dice. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Good luck to them. These We're are, all using the same dice. These are your dice. dice. <laughs> these are your dice. That's gonna end it. Yanari are still super tough. I mean, it does take a lot of time to maneuver and outmaneuver your opponent. Steve gave all he could here, and I think he played a good game. Maybe he should have played more aggressively. Maybe he should have played more passively, but that's definitely for you guys to decide in the comments. But our first semifinalist is gonna be Rupert Campbell. He's going on to our finale. Make sure to tune in next week to watch the Custodes under Sterling Backtrick face off against the Thousand Sons and Zinch with Mike Buns. The winner of that game is going to face Rupert for the first ever Play On Championship. Thanks so much for tuning in, folks. Special thanks to our players, Rupert, and to Steve, to the Garage Games and Geekery for the recording space, and to you, all of our supporters and fans. You know, we couldn't really be doing any of this without the support we get from you guys. So please comment, please like, and hey, if you want, support us on Patreon so we can keep doing what we love to do, which is bring you fantastic battle reports with great players and great armies. As always, this is JT signing off and saying, until next time you see us in the grimdark universe of the far-flung future, play on.